Hello everyone, the Dex here. Welcome to another video tutorial. This time around I'm going to show you how you can set up your very own efficient mass fabricating system. Now this system lo may look slightly scary at first glance, but let me uh, tell you that it's very very simple. Now specifically in what you're seeing right now, there is industrial craft of course for the actual mass fabricating. There is build craft. And there is thermal expansion for the cobblestone generation. Now, of course, there are other ways you can do it, but I'm going to show you this way. Now, first, let me explain what's going on, and then I'm going to show you how you can build your own. So first, I have two power sources. Now, these two power sources are very high-end. This is an MFSU with three uh, high-voltage solar panels, basically each one of them generating 512 EU per tick. And there is another MFSU right here with six solar panels. Again, something very, very high end and very uh, expensive, but then again, just for the sake of explaining what's going on. Obviously, if you have that amount of energy, you don't really care about scrap and efficiency, but using it just to show you the principle of what's going on. So the energy here being supplied into my recycler, which has 10 overclocker upgrades to make sure it's running as fast as it can. Uh, and all those igne igneous extruders are generating cobblestone into, an, into a line of those relays which simply keep pushing it down until they reach the actual recycler. So this is my recycling process. There are many other different ways to do it. You guys probably know them, but I'm doing it just like this because for the sake of the example, it's very easy to set up. Next, and here it's starting to get interesting. My, my scrap is being uh, stored in the output area of the recycler. So right next to it, I have an auto crafting table with the recipe for a scrap box already set up uh, and ready to go. And the entire idea is whenever the auto crafting table is posted, it can access the recycler inventory as an adjacent inventory and actually create the scrap box out of the available scrap in here. And right here, I have a wooden pipe with a golden autarkic or gate. It's autarkic golden ore gate. This is important. This is not a normal ore gate. It's an autarkic golden gate, which has three rules. First one, if the inventory is empty, specifically this one, uh, send a redstone signal. So as you can see, as long as there's nothing in the inventory, the gate sends out a redstone signal. And the mass fabricator reacts to the redstone signal in a way that it will simply stop working. So whenever there is nothing in the amplifier, nothing in the amplifier slot, the mass fabricator stops working. This is why it's so efficient. This way you're not losing energy because when you're mass fabricating without an amplifier, you're basically wasting energy. You, you, you consume more energy faster to produce pretty much the same result. So it's usually this is what this is all tutorial about, how to increase your efficiency. And the thing is, with scrap and a scrap box, scrap produces 5,000 amplifier units in, my, in the mass fabricator, and the scrap box produces for 45,000 uh, amplifier units. Basically, it's exactly the same. And then scrap is equal to a scrap box in terms of amplifier units and simply an easier way to control. Now the next thing is, this is why it has to be an OR gate. These are basically the two simple rules on uh, extracting the actual scrap box from my crafting table. So whether there is a redstone signal on or off, it doesn't matter, send an energy pulsar. Now you have to do this because every time this redstone signal changes uh, its state because of the scrap, whether it's inside or not, you're gonna have to keep uh, adjusting here. So you're never losing any, basically any ticks. Of course, instead of a turkey gate, you can simply use a redstone engine into with, with a normal wooden pipe and it will work, it will work just as same. Okay, so this is the setup. Let's, let's see how I build it. And actually this time around, I'm gonna use only one MFSU so you can see it uh, probably easier. So let's create one MFSU. Actually, let's have only one um, high voltage array. Okay, it started producing energy. Um, let's set up our recycler like uh, this. Make sure you place two transformer upgrades because re a recycler cannot accept high voltage, which actually is meant to, to accept low voltage, so you have to increase it by two times with two transformer upgrades and 10 overclockers just to make it very, very fast. 
Uh, next up, connect the power. So it's receiving power. And let's get ourselves another array of those uh, extruders. I'm going to just create two layers because for the sake of the example, I don't need more. I'm going to need some lava as well. Let's get some lava cans. And let's place our igneous extruders just like this. Again, there are probably better ways and more convenient ways to do this. This is how I'm doing it because it's very, very easy to do. So right-clicking each and every one of them with lava to make sure that they have the lava unit. And same thing with the water can. Again, making sure they have enough water and lava. Now, changing their uh, configuration. So they push their items to the back slot of the igneous extruder, basically into the relay. This way I'm basically using all the cobblestone, otherwise I'm not. Okay, so my recycle is already running, no problem. The next step will be to take um, an automatic crafting table. Let's get one of those. Set it up right next to my recycler. Take whatever you can from here. Actually, you just need uh, nine. And also make sure that if you have any adjacent um, igneous extruders that they're not pushing their cobblestone down. So set up the recipe for the scrap box, just like this. You can place all the access ones inside, no problem. Get a wooden pipe. You can get... Uh, you can also use, by the way, the emerald pipe. The, it will work just as well, no problem. Place down your emerald, your wooden pipe. Uh, place down your mass fabricator. Now this part is important. You have to make sure that your wooden pipe is connected to the bottom slot of the mass fabricator. Otherwise, the check inventory will not work. So this is very, very important. I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually going to use this time around. I'm going to use a normal golden gate to show you that it can actually work. Let's use a golden ore gate. Right click and check whether or not uh, the inventory is empty. If it is, send a redstone signal. And also, final part, just connect it to a power line, so it receives power. And the last thing I need, because I used not an autarkic gate, but a normal gate, I'm going to need a redstone engine to actually power it on. So let's have one here and turn the signal on. There we go. Whenever there is no amplifier in the amplifier slot, the fabricator will not run. Obviously, you always have that excess amplifier units from the previous uh, scrap box available to you, which act kind of as a buffer. But you know what? That's a spare buffer that you can always afford. The bigger thing, more important here, is that you're not wasting energy when you have no amplifier. So there you go. This is a very small and very convenient setup. Basically, when you think about it, it's only four blocks. The, the heart of the system is only four blocks. The recycler, auto crafting table, uh, the gate, and the mass fabricator. Obviously, everything around it is more, but this is the heart which you must conserve in order for this to work and everything else can be moved and changed and look different. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorials, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.